How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Glacier cable tire chains on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. These are a great entry level set of chains for a just a case type of situation. These are ladder pattern, which means they go straight across the tire and they are rollers, which is going to give you a smoother ride and a lot less bumpiness than a lot of other ladder pattern do. Ladder patterns themselves are going to be really good for starting and stopping, not as great for turning and things like that, like a diamond pattern might be. The cables themselves are made of a low carbon steel, so they're a little bit softer and they're not going to hold up as well for things like corrosion and weather resistance like a manganese alloy chain would, but for the purposes of these chains I think they're fine. Additionally, they are class S certified, so if a limited wheel well clearance is something that you need to worry about, they'll work for that as well. The chains do come two in a set in this plastic fabric case. Roller style chains like these are notoriously difficult to roll up and get back in the bag. And the bag is just sort of a cheap material in general. So if you do get these chains, we recommend getting some sort of larger plastic bag or something to keep them in that's gonna keep the chain secure and keep the weather out. But Overall, with any types of chains like these, it's going to be a little bit difficult to install, especially if you're out on the road because you will have to get behind the tire, but it's not too bad. You can check out how we did that now. First thing we want to do is lay our tire chains out flat to make sure that there's nothing caught or tangled. Additionally, we want to make sure that this lever is going to be on the outside because we'll need to access that after we make our connection in the back. And we take a close look at these at the edge of each link. You'll see that this side is entirely flat and flush. This side has just a little bit of an edge there. We want to make sure that that's not touching our tire. Once we have everything laid out and we're centered up as good as we can get, grab these back two links and carefully drape the chains over our tire. They're a little bit rigid, so just try to make sure that they're not scratching up the wheel well as you put them on. And again, just try to space them out as evenly as you can. It's just going to save us some trouble and trying to make these connections in the front and the back. Once we have that, we can actually make that first connection. As you can see on one side of the chains, there are these studs, and then on the other side, there's this catch. We want to slide the studs through the opening and the catch. We'll probably go for the second one, but we can always come back and adjust it if needed, and it'll just snag on there. If we had enough slack, we could put it into one of these red hooks or red catches as well. I don't think we're going to get it on this side, but it lays pretty flat, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now that we have our connection on the back taken care of, we can make this connection on the front as well. Similar style, fit as many studs through this catch as you can. We'll get two in our case, and then we'll fold this lever back down and fit it around the end of these chains here red catch might slide in your way and the chains are pretty rigid so this could be a little bit tricky but if you play with it eventually it should slide in once we have those connections made we recommend grabbing one of these rubber tensioners because these chains don't have any built-in self tensioning and things tend to move around a little bit once you're driving you're bumping over ice and snow this will just help keep things secure and keep the chains from moving around too much as you're driving. With these chains, this bottom link is always going to be a little bit looser or look that way, but with the tensioner on, the chains are on pretty firmly. Once you have that tensioner on, they're installed. Make sure you do the same thing on the passenger side tire as well. Definitely try these out in your garage beforehand because where you use these studs is going to vary by tire to tire, but that's it for that. Once you have it on, you're ready to hit the road. Overall, these chains are great for the things that I mentioned earlier. They're sort of a just-in-case type of chains. I personally recommend some sort of Koenig diamond pattern with the self-tensioning if you don't mind spending a little bit more or you need chains that are going to last you a longer time because those will have a manganese nickel alloy as well. But for the purposes that you're going to use these chains, I think that they do a fine job and they're a solid fit on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500.